Hello guys, welcome back to another video. There are millions of apps out there, but still thousands of apps are being launched every day. Previously, there was an app called uh, Awkward, which was quite popular. Then Facebook was launched and it became popular. Then Instagram took its place. Then Snapchat was launched. And soon, definitely some other app will be launched that might replace all these existing apps. So this field of app development is full of surprises, fun and definitely money and hence I as a programmer decided to try out app development. So as the title says, in this video I'm going to tell you how I made my first app while learning app development. I will also show you my first app, the feature it contains and every detail that I think every app developer and especially the beginner must know. So let's roll into the video. The first step, selecting the programming language. The very first and the most important step is to select a programming language. There are many languages that we can use to make apps and each have their own features. So it becomes difficult to select. So to make it simple, let me tell you this. There are basically two types of languages for app development. One is native and the other is hybrid. In native, we have Java Swift, which is used to make apps only for a specific type of OS. Which means with Java, I can only make Android apps and Swift is used for iOS apps. But to solve this problem, we have hybrid languages like Flutter, React Native, Xamarin, with which we can make apps for both Android and iOS. After lots of research and comparing between these languages, I finally decided to learn Flutter, which is hybrid and it is made by Google. The second step, learning the basic concept. After selecting a programming language, it is important to learn and understand the basic concepts about the programming language. For example, I selected Flutter, so I had to learn about the widget concept, the basic structure of language, its features, its requirements and such kind of similar stuff. And remember, all this you could learn for free directly from YouTube. So the next step is to think of an app idea and sketch it on a paper. Before actually starting to learn app development, it is important to have an app idea in your mind and to actually make a wireframe of it on a paper so that when you learn you directly implement it on your app idea by this the things and the concept you learn get stronger and you will have running app to publish by the end of the course but make sure to keep updating your app as soon as you learn new things so when i started app development i thought to make a quiz app which can let users to make and play quiz on the app and i also wanted to make it like a social media which can allow users to follow each other on the app so as i said the first step is to make the wireframe and this is the rough sketch that I made earlier with all the things I wanted in the app and it even kept changing as I learned new things in the course. And now the time has come without which it is impossible to make apps. And that is to start learning. You could either take up a course on Udemy or watch free videos on YouTube. It is up to you. I had access to a Udemy course by Academind so I learned from him. But trust me, you need to have lots of patience while you are learning because it might take a month or even more than that to learn completely and don't forget to implement what you have learned on your app idea that is very important this is how my app looked when i started and later on when i learned new stuff i changed the app looks and features and finally after lots of hard work and efforts i completed the course and made my first ever mobile app and now presenting you my first app questify Doom. 
Jimmy's 